Good afternoon and welcome to this very special one-off video. If you're in Mr. Low, that's me. If you're one of my year 10 groups, this is your homework. I'm helping you out with a bonus homework video. Maybe not, maybe you just love watching videos of me or maybe you want to revise how to answer a four mark medicine question. Either way, let's dive straight in and keep it a nice short one. We've got this question to look at very briefly today. Explain one way in which the treatment of diseases was different in the 14th and 17th century. Now, obviously, this is going to be available online for you, so I'm going to go straight on to our next slide to sort of delve into how we get four out of four in this question. No matter what your target grade is, you should be aiming to get four out of four on this question. Let's break it down. First thing, it'll always give you, the arrow's going a bit wrong here, but it'll always give you two time periods. This one has the 14th and the 17th century. You've got to make sure you use an example from each time period to reference each time period. Something from this one, which obviously is the medieval, and something from this one, which is the 17th century. Next thing, make sure you always, and the arrow's gone crazy again here, let me get my pen and we'll do some proper arrows. Make sure you're always addressing the question, is it asking for a similarity or a difference? Now this question is asking for a difference. Explain one way that treatment was different in the medieval and renaissance period. That word could very easily be, um, was similar. So make sure you're looking carefully for how the question's worded. Final point, it's a bit of an obvious, all that arrow actually works. Um, always explain. This is a four mark question. You could probably get maybe a two or a three out of four just by sort of throwing some examples at it, but you've always got to add a little bit of explanation about why there's a difference or about why there's a similarity. Let's break down then with some sentence starters. Now, I'm gonna, I've set this for my groups as homework to practice, but if you're doing a revision, this might be a good way for you to revise. With this, we go for a long P answer, which means we do points, two bits of evidence, and then explain. Now you're probably asking me why we've got the two bits of evidence. That's because, remember, you've got to reference both time frames. In this case, medieval, which they put as the 14th century, and evidence to the 17th century. You, of course, always start the point, I'm not gonna mention that, but here's the final part. Have you explained, okay? The question's asking, why are treatments different? You've probably given a couple of examples there, but have you explained why treatments might be different? That might be bringing in thoughts about the Renaissance and the attitudes in society. It might be mentioning humanist thinkers, that's just in them. It might be talking about the new world and how that affects treatment in the 17th century. But my last point for you guys, like I said, it's gonna be a short video. These questions in the exam, and as you practice them at home, you're looking at about five minutes. Literally, smash them out in five minutes. A long P, get it done quick, and move on to the bigger questions.